Chris, this is Randall. I just got word there's something really suspicious going on in the Arboretum. We've got to get out there right away. What's going on? We need you now. in the winter garden here in Arboretum. And to think we thought you were a pernicious plant pathogen. Oh, for crying out, how could anybody ever think that about a handsome, studly dude like me? <laughs> Not me, that's for <laughs> oh, sure. That's for sure. Hey, check these things out, I love them. Look at this cool stewardia, Monadelpha. The beautiful red bark during the winter time, those great camellia flowers, fall color to die for. Oh, la la. And you know what I love the most? What? That ground cover of cyclamen coom under there. I love the beautiful foliage with the silver striations and those pink flowers are to die for. Yeah. Oh, la la. <laughs> An arborist, in a broad sense, is responsible for the care and maintenance of trees, and all the things that fall under that umbrella include uh, inspecting trees, looking for defects in those trees, things that could potentially cause damage to humans, um, property, or other trees, which is especially important at a place like the Arboretum, where we have a world-class collection of trees with a, a, an overstory of large native trees that are prone to failure in, in certain weather events. So uh, a big part of my job is inspecting those trees and looking for defects and determining when it's, it's uh, important to go up and climb those trees and mitigate those defects and hazards. And we do that through pruning. Occasionally we have to remove a tree if the whole tree is at risk of falling. Um, we can cable trees together to help support those defects. Sometimes we prop trees, um, we brace trees. So those are some of the options that, that, I, that I have. <laughs> 